Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and uh, I want to take a quick second and apologize. It, it occurred to me upon reviewing footage that I was having some weird audio issues in the last couple of episodes, uh, where I was getting like some weird echoey effects in the background. I've resolved that, um, so it should be all set from here on out. My apologies. Anyway, in the last episode, we uh, conversed with Hermaeus Mora, retained our sanity, and found that he wants to trade the secrets of the skull for a word of power that we need to defeat Mirak, and I don't know how this is going to go over. So the dragons have returned. Well, the skull have survived worse. I spoke to Hermaeus Mora. He asked for the secrets of the skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Hermamora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Hermamora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. He said it's the only way he'll teach me the final word of Mirak's shout. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him, but Reestone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance, but with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. You mean you'll give him what he wants? Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets. But also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. I hope you know what you're doing. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil. Against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Mirak's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. As always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. Oh, you should up at a good time, buddy. Oh, the skull yields up their secrets to me.
You will be either a worthy opponent or his mm, successor, as the tides of fate. I need that back. Father, what have you done? I th go. My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then, kill Mirak. Do not fail. I won't. I got this cool sword. It's all like enchanted and stuff. All right, I better learn that. And I've still got quite a few uh, dragon souls left. So where do I actually go? Do I do I just? Do I already have a book? I just read the book? Okay. Oh, this is where that first one brought me that it, like, crippled me to my knees. Well, I should have taken an opportunity to dump some weight before I came in here, I think. Um, is there a way out? There does not seem to be. That could end up being a slight problem. I really don't want to give up that... That curious... So I may end up having to dump a whole bunch of stuff just in the interest of weight. And I don't have any, like... I don't have any dragon bones I can dump right now. Oh, large Dwemer strut. I don't need that. Why do I have so much leather? because I never uh, returned any of it. After I was crafting. Alright. Well, that at least got rid of a bunch of weight. As I go start picking up more stuff. Oh. Ooh. Heart stopped for a second. I thought I was about to accidentally fall into the goo. Man, look at this place. Vile. And you know, let me take it aside for a second. Like, this place is made out of books, right? Like, take this book right here. What is this book? What is this book about? Like, if I were to pull this book out of the wall and open it up, like, what would be in here? Is this, like, a book of recipes? Is this instructions on, like, how to groom a cat? Like, what is this? What is this book? Is this, like, somebody's diary? What, what, what about that one? What about that one right there? The side of me that's, like, intellectually curious can't help but wonder, like, what exactly all these books actually are. Anyway... Things I'll never know. I'm totally the type of person who would get unwittingly sucked in by Hermaeus Mora. Totally trying to learn all this stuff. I don't like... Oh, that's why. Heavy armor forging. Alright, guess I've already learned that one. Mm. 
This is going to extend out from something. I don't know what. Maybe there's one of those little trigger things over here. Somewhere. Got to be on guard in here. Never know when one of those dumb seekers is just going to show up. Boneless limbs. Oh, all right. Guess that works. Chapter 3. I'm sure this will be even more vile and disgusting. Stupid pools of goo with tentacles. Man, I hate those things. That sounds like fire, but I don't know where it's coming from. And that kind of bothers me. Alright, I took another book. Did that open a door somewhere? It must have, right? Yes, it opened here. Oh, creepy. This whole place is creepy. What am I talking about? At least there are a lot of soul gems. Catalog of weapon enchantments. That would have been good if I was still leveling enchantment. Yep. I do believe this is going to be crossbow time. What did that do? Okay. Did it open this? We got a treasure chest full of books and an ebony bow that I'm not going to take. Chitin boots. Just don't have enough weight to carry all these things. Another pod. Prying orbs. Hmm. Oh, maybe that little orb thing opened this? Chapter 4. We're collecting a whole bunch of those black books. One hit. Yeah, that's how we take care of those. Okay. Stop your tentacles.
Conjure Undying Ghost. Is that one that I have? I mean, not that I'm ever going to cast it, but... I learned Raise Zombie. There's another spell I won't use. Again, you know, a lot of the... I mentioned it a while back, but a lot of the spells that I'm learning from books here would be really good for, like, an evil character. Not so great for a paladin. Whoa, what's this? Whoa. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, that was weird. This whole place is weird. I don't trust anything in here. Haven't I been here already? <clears throat> yes, I have. <clears throat> hmm. What did I miss? Right, when I went in there... Yeah, see, it, like... It stopped me from going through. Hmm... Whoa! Yeah, it's what I think of you. Looks like I got another one up above. A lot of scrolls we're getting. Two copies of Death Brand. Alright, here's something moving. Don't know what or where. Oh, maybe it's that? Passageway here, maybe? No? This is the way we came. That's where the book was. Um, I don't see any other way to go. Oh. Yeah, this is new. Not worth uh, going into that tentacle pool. Oh. Yeah. Let me tell you, Cirrus's blade here is doing some good work for me. Those tentacles, on the other hand, are beyond disgusting. And you know what? Let me, um... Just 
just to make sure we don't like run out of enchantments in the middle of an important fight or something that actually requires me to try. Oh, I see what it did. This place is so weird. Stupid tentacle smacking. Gross. I'm just going to avoid that. Oh, see? Yeah, wait. I'm going to take it, though. Because that'll... That'll save me some crafting later. Oh, hello. Smack me with that green stuff. Oh, that's actually a helpful ring. All right. I think those stairs going up are new. Yep, and you know, I'm going to save... Chapter 5. It's what we do to Seekers. Okay. Um. Oh, I think I have to put those other books on these pedestals. Is that what it is? Stupid thing. Alright, that looks like a dragon eyeball. Um, maybe prying orbs? That is tentacles. Delving pincers or boneless limbs? I'll do boneless limbs. That looks like pincers. Maybe. Last one left. Okay, all right, we got it. Chapter six. And we're gonna save again. Ooh. We are getting a lot of scrolls and stuff in here. Oh. All right.
I hate seekers. Just be visible. Just be visible. See, it's so much better when you're visible and let me just butcher you. Alright, now that those are out of the way... A word wall in here, huh? Armor, dragon aspect. Oh, I have to use Bend Will Shout to tame something. Oh, now I gotta fight Mirak. Alright. Where is he? Oh, hello. I will carry you to Mira. Uh, when riding a dragon, I can lock a nearby target and attack it with magic. I can also command the dragon to attack my target. Fast travel while riding the dragon by using the world map. Alright. Um, can't really Mira fast travel here. All right, well, I can't really... At what the Ufen are. All right, this is sort of weird. Um, I don't have any magic to attack with. As you command. I guess I'll just keep doing control and space to uh, tell the dragon to attack that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, do more of that. Get him. Okay. Uh no, no. Oh, I thought he was going to dump in the in the goo there. Alright, so I can't really tell if this is, like, on rails, or if I'm able to control the... control the dragon, or what. I think I'm trying to get up there. Because I see there's a couple of dragons flying in circles above it. Yes, Thori. What gold? I will land at once. Zarota, are you so easily swayed? No, not yet. We should greet our guest first. And so the first dragonborn meets the last dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha. No doubt, just as Hermaeus Mora intended. He is a fickle master, you know. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus, subject to my full power. You will die, and with the power of your soul, I will return to Soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. Will you, though? Alright. 
Um, which one do we want to go with? I guess we'll go with Unrelenting Force. Just because it might be a good stun. Alright, let's get some potions going. Cold, fire, shock. Let's find a resistant to magic. Did I not bring potion of resist magic? Okay, good to know. Alright. Let's find a good poison. Potent poison probably seems good. 35. And we're going to want some vegetable soup. Um, that should about do it. We've got... Yep. That's it. We crushed that chump. Oh. Oh, he's back for more. Oh, he's totally cheating. He's killing his own dragons to suck their souls and, like, heal himself. What a cheater. Alright, that's a problem. Do I have to do that shout again? Yeah, get me rack. Tell me it's glitched out. I bet it's glitched out because I killed him too quick. Oh, man. Well, that's why I saved right before the fight. Let me try the tame on this guy again. Do I have to ride the dragon? Is that the secret to this? As you command. Okay, this is a problem. look around over here, see if there's some other thing I gotta do. I may have killed him too quickly. And messed up, like, a combat script or something. 
I bet that's what happened. Or do I have to use the bend wheel on Mirak? All right, me wait for it to recharge. Okay, well, that is a problem. Um, I guess I am going to have to reload the save. What a pain in the butt. And so the first Dragonborn meets the last Dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha. No doubt, just as Hermaeus Mora intended, he is a fickle master. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus subject to my full power. You will die, and with the power of your soul, I will return to Soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. Cruzicrel, <laughs> the Holy Keep, <laughs> now! <laughs> I'm just going to do my resistances. Oh, it's not the one I wanted. I wanted the, um... Yeah. Eh, hey, why not? Okay, I bet the problem was I might have killed... I might have killed one of his dragons before he could do that stupid shout on it. I bet that's what happened. Don't throw that tentacle crap at me. Yeah, that's the problem. Is it it didn't let him do that on the last dragon, I think. Get to think to escape me, Mirak. You can hide nothing from me here. <laughs> no matter. I have found a new dragon born to serve me. <laughs> but I'm not going to serve you. May he be rewarded for his service as I am. <sighs> Harbor fantasies of rebellion against me. Learn an easy example. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. I will take all of that. Okay. 
We got rid of Mirak. Waking dreams. Let's get out of here. Ah! Alright, this is weird and trippy. Let's get out of here. Hopefully no weird glitches. I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean... Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? It's, it's over. He's dead. When my father sacrificed, it was not in vain. He died to free us. Tell me, was it the only way? Did he need to die? Nicholas is restless. He is like an eagle, always seeking to fly somewhere new. Well, Hermaeus Mora killed him. Remember that, not Mirak. I know. The Skull will not forget this. Storm's death will become another of the many tales of Herma Mora's treachery. One more thing, Skull friend, if you will. I know it is not my place, but. May I offer a word of advice? Of warning? You may. As shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down the path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. That was some good advice. Well, okay. My mother was here to dig what would I take a look. All right, first thing, let's um let's see if there's any of this stuff that we can ooh, uh we can get rid of. Oh, it's heavy armor? Not bad. Until next time. All right. Well, Mirac is done for. Um you know what I am curious about? Okay, it looks like Marak's sword can get pretty serious. But that's like a really evil weapon. That's not something for a paladin. Okay. Well, we have uh, returned some peace to Stolsheim. And if you remember, the whole reason we did that big side chain was to get the cultists to stop attacking us. So now all we have to worry about is dragons. All right. Let's go back to the farm. We have some equipment to deposit. All right, first thing, I'm going to dump a bunch of the stuff here that I had forgotten to deposit. And let me smelt down this Dwemer metal. All right. And we're just about done with that. Okay. Now we're going to deposit the rest of our ill-gotten goods here inside, including all that stuff we took off of Mirak. All those animals I've got upstairs hanging out in the bedroom. Eh, 
That's a disgusting weapon. All right. So I got that dragon plate insulated armor. I am going to put that in my important stuff stash along with this other dragon plate insulated stuff. When the time comes, that stuff will be useful. Right, any other weapons to deposit? Random items. I can put those soul gems back. I still haven't used that bitter cup thing. And uh, I'm going to have to do another round of vendoring. Because um, I've got all kinds of gems and stuff that I need to get rid of. Anything else in here? Yes. I have some books I can deposit in here. Strangely enough, it won't let me deposit the black books. And I've got ingredients that can get deposited here. Okay. And I have to say, you know, as like a closing thought for for the little adventure we did over in Stolsheim, I am honestly surprised how much of a pushover uh, Mirak was. I mean, I know that we're, we're relatively overpowered right now with our, our equipment and whatnot, but Mirak went down fast. Good morning. Like, so fast that that first time I fought him... Very good, sir. Um, that the first time I fought him, like, the fight glitched out. Because I killed him too quick. That's... Yeah. You know, it's one of the things, uh... One of the things about a game like Skyrim is that... You know, if you go through and you're not really too focused on min-maxing... Um... It can be quite challenging. But if you are focused on min-maxing, you just plow through this stuff. And I mean, I'm running it like the default difficulty. You know, I haven't yes. I haven't cranked it up or down or anything. Take a look. All right. I was kind of looking to see if he had like fire salts or anything. Scrolls. Buy all of these scrolls. You don't have enough gold to buy all my scrolls. All right, then. All right. Well, what are we at for weight anyway? 249. That's not bad. I can hold off and wait. All right. Well, for right now... Oh, you know, yeah, I, I should just get that out of the way. Let me just... I'll just go over here. We'll uh, summon Durnavir in one last time. Shouts. Really? Can I not... Can I not summon Durnavir here? There we go. You have kept you aside of the bargain. Now let me fulfill mine. Feel the last word of soul tearing within yourself. Zol, the unlife.
that results when a soul is imprisoned in dead flesh. Alright, that was a bit creepy, but, you know, we'll take it. So, we're going to wrap things up for right now. We had a, a relatively productive time. We finally took care of Mirak, who's been sending his dumb cultists at us for quite a while. And between that and taking care of Harkon a few episodes back as well, the only thing we have left to worry about is the dragons. So, uh, make sure you check out the next episode to see what is in store for Marius the Paladin. As always... Thanks for watching.